Welcome to the Atlantic Candlefin Singles to a Class C Northern Conference today from Wakefield Bulldrome in Wakefield, Massachusetts. Paul Grant along with Kevin Burns on the ACST Facebook page. A good battle of two playoff contenders. Number three seed Jeremy Van Dyke out of Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. The number three seed, top and average also, takes on the home ball. Number three seed Ryan Billings. The ball five strings, five blocks at a time. Two points for a win per string, one for a tie, four for total. Due to a lane breakdown of three, we're only using one lane today on lane four. And the tall right hand of Jerry Van Dyke will lead off. Right in the pocket. It's nine, the wiggle on the seven. We have to move this over a little bit now. Just get the angle. Van Dyke for a spare. He's got it. Nice start. Van Dyke on the bonus. Left side, just two. 12 through one. So I'm going to move this camera over a little bit more. Try to get a better angle here as we had to move over last moment. Van Dyke ends up diamond plus the seven. Early in the first of five. Jeremy gets an eight, 20 through two the hard way. Scores in the screen, basically your feedback at the end of each string instead of five boxes. We'll give you the verbal scores to lead each box. So we're moving out on the, on the fly last moment due to a laying breakdown. So bear with us here. Van Dyke back in the head pin. 3 2 split. 2 for 3 in the head pin so far. Number 1 in average 108.37. Not too bad. 3 6 10 right, 7 left. Jeremy, nice shooting. Gets nine, 29 through three. No scoreboard. Let's do manual scoring here. A spare two, an eight, and a nine for the visiting bowler. First time bowling yet, Ben. He has a four horseman, one, two, four, seven. Fourth box for a string. For a spare, off the wall. He got it. Nice shot, not an easy one. Second spear, the first. Thirty-nine, the ball through four. Spare two in that first box. Trying to bounce back here. That's a good ball there. Eight. Forty-seven through four. Dyke for another one. No, tough break. Looked good, didn't it? Try to get to 57, halfway through the first. That's a nine, 56 half. Home bowler Ryan Billings here in Wakefield, Mass. At Wakefield Bowler Drum, starts his first to five. Billings, left side, only the seven. The number five seed, moving up the standings. 101.60 average. 53 and 31 coming in. Too far left again, leaves up seven. Division three, north in class C. That's a nice out, it'll be an eight. It's down four, box to box, 12 to eight. Ryan Richard from Thompson, Maine, now in Somerville, Mass. 
She got married. It's the newlywed married July 15th to Elizabeth. Nice lady. Three in that first ball. Too far right. Shots up to three. Tough leave here. Six standing. Kevin Burns keeping score unofficially for its back here. Ryan will take a seven that time. 15 through two. He's down five. Welcome, Kevin Burns. Well, thank you very much for having me. Thanks for helping out. Anytime. So how was your week? I know you had a busy week. Yeah, I slept till one o'clock this afternoon. I was drained. Friday night, Pro League was awesome. And then Maine yesterday for a 10-string money match. A good one on Canada Bowling Network. Jeff Lapierre, Mark Weber have won seven straight money matches. And Mark Weber's won nine now. The two extra matches also. Nine straight money matches. Cashing in pretty good. Ryan Billings, 1-3-6. Slipped right. I was at Academy on Friday night. That was a good match. Chris Bobert was on fire. 430, 151, 161, and a 118. And Ryan with the Paul Grant Special missed the second, make the third for a 10, 25 through 3 in the first of five, pushing down four pins. We'll see extra lanes this Friday night, the Friday Night Pro League game of the week on Facebook, rebroadcast on YouTube, fly, flying solo. Excellence number one seed takes on last year's number one seed in defending champs, Academy 2, a good one, 730 live on Canlip and Bowling Network on Facebook. From X Lane, shoot a sports bar, X New Hampshire. Ryan's first head pin hit. Not an easy one. Four, seven, five, ten. What a try. Hit the ten, holds up. They'll take a ten that time. Thirty-five down twelve. Up against a nine. To join the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, contact Danny Finn on Facebook Messenger or at Ryan Family Amusements, Millis, Mass. Class A, B, C, and D in his first year. Class C in his second season, Jeff Little, defending champion. Beautiful ball there. He'll take 10, strike. 7 10, go down in harmony. 45 half plus 2. Down 11, but a big fill coming up next. On one lane today, do a lane breakdown on three, so just lane four today. And Jerry Van Dyke, the number three seed. Up 11 right now, minus a strike bill. Second half for a string. Right in the pocket, then hit six. Two, seven, eight, ten. Just missed right. Two, seven, eight. Takes two in the back row. The eight goes into the seven. He made that eight seven shot in lead lanes for a spare, then got a strike to win a string. Early this season. Matches on the ACST Facebook page and Canal Pavilion Network. The nine box position 65 through six. Just missed right. One, four, seven, nine, ten. Three head pin hits in seven boxes. Spare two in the first, spare eight in the fourth. And this left took the hip and out. The nine took the wrong turn. Want to go right turn, Clyde. A little Clint Eastwood reference, or maybe a trade loose, if you know what I'm talking about. But the orangutan Clyde was the star. Went to the wood to stop by ICBA rules. Going for a 10 box in the channel that's 9. 74 through 7 in the first of 5. Get your holiday gift cards at Wakefield Bowling Drum or your local bowling center. Support your local centers. Invest in Candlepin Bowling. Get the youth involved, your friends and family. A great way to do it all year round with Candlepin gift cards. The gift that keeps on giving. And for any occasion, all year round as well. Dyke just for that time. First time in Wakefield, doing pretty good so far. My first time here, too. It's my first time here, too. I've never been here. I covered Faye Sawyer last year, a match here. Let's check mark. 
Braden is J Ryan Billings, Jeremy Van Dyke. Pulling to you, three seed and a five seed. Got one for seven blocks. 81 3. We'll need a mark to beat his average. Number one in the conference, 108.37. Was higher earlier. 18 week season, four 14 divisions, four division winners, four wild cards. Make the playoffs out of 16. The winner of the North plays the winner of the South. Division eight of Van Dyke for a strike, nine. Four appearing with the plank in front to help. A reverse lemon drop. For a spare, he's got it. 91 of the ball through nine. Ryan Billings, the fifth seed, on a strike next. He has 10 bonus pins and two fills in the spare so far. Now he's on a strike. He won that first ball. Correction on a spare. I should say not a strike. Ryan's on a strike next. So spare two, eight, and four in the string. 95 through nine. Tough leave. Just missed the eight. Heck of a try. Just the 10. 105 opening string for the number three seed, Jeremy Van Dyke. That'll force Ryan Billings to get at least one more mark. Maybe two. Sitting on a strike on lane four. 45 plus two. We'll put the scores on the screen after each string. Hey, Lane Britton, the coach. Hope you won out King of the River today again. On three in a row going to this Sunday. If he wins one more, he's automatically in the tournament. Right. And he just had come up from knee and hip replacement surgery. We're going to see him another week Monday night. Rolling seven on the strike. 52 half, which down four. We'll need a mark to win the string. The first two points, he'll take a nine. 61 through six, now four. Has never led. Biggest deficit, 12 pins. Closest he's been, four. Thirty-five, the magic number, in three boxes. Four that time. We'll go some of the stats and bios next string for the bowlers. Left-hander trying to make this a spare. Good offer, not accepted. He's up the kingpin, the five. Good practice for a headpin shot in a sense, the five pin. Just missed left for a nine, 70 through seven, down four again. 26 and three box, or 36 and three box, I should say. Now officially. He had 44 in the last four, now 36. Looks three. Beautiful ball, but a 2 2 split. Featuring the two, four left, the right side, three and six. Tough leave. Give it a try. Unofficially three head pinnets. Jeremy with four or five. May have missed one. Billings okay, takes another nine. 79 through eight. Now it's down two. He's up against a spare four and a ten. So now he needs 27 in two boxes. Four strings left after this from Wakefield Bowl Drum. Billings, only two. Hooks it right. Two, four, eight, wood in front to help. Kevin Burns keeping the score unofficially. We'll put the official score sheet up after this string is over. Per your request. I'll take a 10. 89 through 9, down 6, up against a 10. So now he's a 17 box. And for his only lead of the string, he'll need a mark. Had been in for a strike, they look good. Seven, not going to be easy. 
Wood rolling away. Five middle, eight left, seven, uh, ten right. So five, eight, ten, wood rolling back. And at that angle, Kevin, this is going to be a very tough shot. Well, it all depends on where the wood sits. Yeah, I mean, some wood's better than no wood, I guess, in this situation. Well, it sits right where the head pin would be. So if he goes high on the cap, on the, where the, uh, the side of that wood, yep. Yep. He might have a shot. His first spare. Oh, too bad. Just missed it. And Jeremy wins the first string, gets the first two points. He's at 98 right now, trying to get to 99. 98 first string, 105, 98 first string win for Jeremy Van Dyke. A good battle of three versus five. The Atlantic Candlepin singles to a Class C Northern Conference. Wakefield Boulder and Wakefield Mass on the ACST Facebook page. We'll put the scores on the screen once you put the official totals on the sheet. And Jeremy Van Dyke will continue in lane four. One lane today only. Pretty packed here earlier. Pouring buckets out there. Yeah, Route 3 and 95 were all backed up on my way up here. So here are the official scores. Jeremy, 105, 98, up 7. Wood coming out of play. Now look at, now look at this leaf, Kevin. You, you don't see a leaf like this too often on first ball, do you? No, you don't. And of course, the wood will have to get removed it doesn't, if it stays there. Ryan's going to take a trip down lane four. One, two, seven, eight. Right side, six, nine, ten. Take a video of that one, folks. Tony Levesque, take a shot of that one. Take the a magic man. Take a screenshot of it. Going to bring that candlestick pin back. Now, this is a very, very strange sleeve. And look at this. Hit the object pin, the one. And look at this. Brutal. It's a mean game sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes the wood can be your friend. Sometimes it can be your enemy. But no wood involved there. Just hit the head pin. And goes back for the eight for a tough five to start the second of five. And that's tough. I mean, hit that head pin, that second ball, and it costs you some pins. Costs you quite a few. That's killing from that's killing from bowling, folks. Though you never know what you're gonna get from day to day, ball to ball, box to box, match to match. Now Friday night, I saw Chris Bolvier with the reverse half booster and a. Hey, comes back with a strike! Wow, that's how you put it behind the rearview mirror. Bombs away, baby. So Paul, that's fifteen what... plus two in the second of five. Now, Paul, as I was saying, I saw Chris Bovey Friday night with a very, very strange sleeve. Even I can't explain this one. He had the reverse half pusher in a 4-7 10. Not an easy shot. He's going great all year. Van Dyke for a double strike. Nine. Just missed the king, the five. And speaking of kings, Lane Britton, the coach, has won king of the river at Riverwalk Lane for the fourth week in a row. Watch out for him in the ACST fighting for a playoff spot. Hello, Ed Sargent, watching from Lita Lance, National New Hampshire. Here at Wakefield Bowl, drawing Wakefield, Massachusetts. Spare! After a five box, strike spare. 25 through two, 35, and a ball through three. That's how you do it, folks. Some balls get discouraged with the five box. Locked and loaded. In just four years of Kenneth Bowling, Doing a great job. Looks at Kegler's Den in Little Lane's National Hampshire. Eight, nine, again. A strike ball and two nine drops after a five. Go figure. 44 through three. Putting the pressure on Ryan Billings. Number three, see for another one. Missed it. Wide left for a nine. Still a good string. 53 through four. That would have been three in a row. It's going to happen sometimes. Single pin's the highest percentage shot to pick up out of any standing pins. Stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Van Dyke back in the pocket of the strike. He's got it. Incredible half. 63 plus two. 
two strikes in the half, almost four in a row. A strike, two nine drops, and a strike. Who is this guy? Ryan Billings lost the first, 105-98. Starts his second string, the home bowler, the number five seed, and a terrific guy, the newlywed. All right, July 15th this year. In the pocket, half was to three nine right, seven left corner. That lazy pin is out of is considered down by rule, obviously. Well, that's a that's a horseshoe shot. I call it. That's a two pointer, a leaner. Good bid. He's up the Queen Borg, the Star Trek character, seven of nine. Only Kendall pin bowling where you see a pin leaning like that. Billings an eight. He gains three. He's down four in the match, but he gets a flurry here. Jerry Van Dyke, a five box to start. A strike, spare nine, nine, strike. Here's a strike, but there, nine, almost had it. He's up the eight. Nice piece of wood there, too, covering the eight. Should be a layup. And he missed oh. it. You can't believe it. Wow. Then they had done that. He knew it as soon as he left, as soon as the ball left his hand. He knew it. Sometimes I used to get a little amped up, and it wasn't there. Nine. Tough break. 17 through two. They've each missed a single pin in the string. That's going to put him down. Eight in the string. He's down now. 15 in the match. And it's not getting much easier. Three versus five. The fifth seed, one, three, seven, eight, ten. A great matchup here on paper. Possibilities. Good okay. shot. Goes. Yes. How about that? Spare. Twenty-seven. The ball through three. Outstanding. And that's his first spare of the match. He had a strike seven in the fifth box, first string. Six. Six to two on the mark. On the bonus. Wobbling five, wobbling eight. Ten right corner. Wood to work with. Seven is the pill. 34 through three. Down ten in the string. 17 in the match. Again, possibilities. Put the wood on the five, the ball should count right into the... He got it! The wood at the ten! Nice shot! Back-to-back -back spares. 44 and a ball through four. Six to three in marks. You miss a single pin, you make a great shot like that. You made two great shots. Exactly. Very good young bowler on the rise. Hungry to get better. Terrific guy on and off the lane. Very classy, but back to reality, a spread eagle. 48 through four, down five in the string. 12 of the match. Five in the string down. 12 of the match. Three in a row somehow. Give it a try. Less than 1% for a That's class good. C bowler. These are the three and six. Try to get to 58 half. And Jeremy Van Dyke's on a strike for the second time. Up next. In this string. Billings gets the 10 box. Nice half. 58. So he's down five in the string, 12 in the match. Excuse me, 12 in the match. Whatever gets a strike. The scores on the screen after each string from now on. And Jeremy, a, a really pretty wild half. You know, that strange three, he didn't punch out the head pin and got a five box. Strike, spare nine. Missed a single pin, nine box, strike. Crossing over a seven. Seven left. Far right, six, and back is the nine. First ball in the strike. That's right, that Sergeant. Good pull it unless a bad buck in the way. And what a try that was. Just missed, not by much. But nine in the strike, 72 half. Class C, folks, class C. Ten for Jeremy. 82 through 6 in the second of 5. 
from Australia. Hello, Greg Packer again. Good morning, Australia. Good afternoon, America and Canada. Speaking of Lane Britain, it's Coach Sharon Britton, number two seed in the Women's Kettle Fitzgerald Cancer Live Show, January 13th at Riverwalk. Coverage starts 10 o'clock on YouTube and Facebook, Cancer Promote Network, Kettle Fitzgerald Cancer, Season 2, Ladder 1. Sharon, number one seed last year in the second ladder, runner up to Madison Live. She remember. was the finalist. To, she was in the finals, lost to Madison Kelly, now Madison Live. And Dyke, another tough lead, at least up to 147. Wait, how good can this guy get? He just started bowling four years ago. He used to bowl in my league on Wednesday nights last year, and I was watching him. And he is up and coming. Going for the three, gets one for an eight, 90 through seven. Won the first, 105, 98. Halfway through, box to box, up 14, 21 in the match. And Ryan's throwing a good ball to the string, too. Future Class B bowls for sure. For the strike, almost his third of the string. Four pins standing in the way. And a decent piece of wood. He missed it. He missed two this string. How big that string could have been. And don't say it. Missed the second, make the third. Ten. 100 through 8. Yeah, there's a certain name for that shot. Yeah, too. we're not going to say it. Three, three, three time limit during a match. Okay. Say it once only. Okay. Larry Wentworth gets a kick out of it. Having too much to the lanes. Good solid ball there. 5 7. No wood, no luck. Quite easy. And this guy's fun to watch. Both these bowlers, fun to watch. Good to see them developing. Moving up the ranks. Hooks it in the channel. Eight bucks. Yeah, the ball to go. Said, he just said that the ball slipped in. Yeah, it did. And it's an eight box still with a field goal. 108 through nine. Another solid string. And a 105 just under his average the first. He's averaging 105 right now in his regular league. His season ending average pass is 104. So already bowled one pin over his highest ever average. And tops in the conference this year in Class E North. Out of 16 bowlers. Delivers six. One, three, six. Up to 114 right now. Behind the three is the nine. Not an easy shot. First spare. Missed left. Best he can do now is 118. That's a Class A performance if he does that. He gets three for nine. Excellent on the second string. 117, 105, 117, 222. Room 222. An old TV show. Boy, am I dating myself here. With Clarence. And the old folks might know that one. Ryan Billings, 58 half. Missed a single pin for a spare also. Jerry missed two. How Jeremy could have been the one thirties potentially. He has a triangle featuring the two middle, four left, five right. Three for six in the head pin here in the second. Excellent, excellent match. Spare! 68 a ball through six in the second of five. From Wakefield Bowldrome, Wakefield Mass. Third spare of the string and the match. Four to six in, in marks. On the bonus, the dreaded half Worcester. Ouch. Two is the fill. 70 through six. Down 12 in the string. 19 in the match. Good second ball, but ugly league. Four, seven, five, ten. Get the short two here, Kevin. Yeah, I definitely get the short two. Um... As Nick Norcross would say, you had the shot that doesn't go plus the 10. And he gets a 6 instead. 76 through 7. Puts down 14 in the string, 21 in the match. It's going to need two marks minimum to win the string. It's going to need 42 pins in three boxes to make it two points apiece. 
smooth ball. Strike. Second strike of the match. Have one in the first. 86 plus two through eight. Finds a golfer also. Is a very smooth delivery also. Double will give him a good chance to win the string. Hooks it. That's why you get two. Chopped out ten. Held it too long. Needs a big one here, Kevin. Yeah, Conda half ten. Hooked it right again. He's lucky to get seven. One, two, four. 93 through 8. Down 7 in the string, 14 in the match. Takes a 9, 102 through 9. He's a 16 box to win. Down 6 in the match. Yeah. Down six, 6 in the five. string, 13 in the match. Up against a 9. So he needs, needs a 16 box to win. He needs a 17 box to win the first. And got a 9 box to lose by 7. In the pocket, has got a chance. Three, six, ten. But now three pieces of wood, or one rolling away, and one in the chair. That's good news in a sense, but still, not a guarantee. Gonna not tip that left wood, I would think, Kevin. Or close to the right. Yeah, let's see what close, close to the red line. Let's see what this was. Uh, now one coming back. That's not going to help. That's a potential wood block, and I think he has a piece of wood in the back too. He needs us to make it two points apiece potentially. Can he get it? He does! Piles right through it! Spear in the tent! Clutch shot! 112 on the ball! A Class A performance here for the Class C bowlers here in Wakefield in the second string. Six to win. Four spears in the second. He threw the right ball and where I make that. I didn't think that was going to go. Not with that kind of work. Five marks of string. Six to win! He gets six! He takes it by one! What a finish! 118! 117! We're tied two points apiece. He's down six in the match. 222, 216. What a battle here. The Atlanta Candlepin singles to a Class C Northern Conference. Along with Kevin Burns, Paul Grant Live on the ACST Facebook page. We'll get the official scores in just a moment. And we're on one lane on lane four due to lane three breakdown, we're told. I think it works now, but we're going to stay on lane four, they say. Before Jeremy stops, we'll put the scores on the screen. Or after this box, at least. Just waiting for the official totals. So we have unofficially 222 216. Jeremy up six in the match. And only fitting with tie two points apiece. Two good matches. Two good bowls, rather, on the rise. Here's the box by box score we didn't show earlier. Only after each string now. And the official two string total is right there. Jeremy 105.98, Ryan 118.117. Third string underway. Nice pocket shot, tough leave. 278.10. Let's have some fun. Just missed. Got the behind pin again, the eight. Leaving up the 2710. Third string of five. Kevin Burns helping out today. Greg Packer, thank you for asking the question. As he gets a seven box to start the third of five. Kevin Burns worked at Mason's Lemister Mass. Works a mechanic. Yeah, also yeah, but if you got it early, you could have fixed lane three. I was stuck in traffic. I got here on time. Plenty of time. Yeah, but... <laughs> With the red, I got second draft pick. All right, Jeremy chops off the 10. Second box, third string. Good second ball. Wood between the two and the five, seven left. That's a 10. 17 through two. Jeremy from Nash, New Hampshire, is from Brookline, New Hampshire, 105 league bowler. What else do you have for stats for Jeremy? 162 high single, 385 high trip, 556 10, 
those are Leo Lanes and Nashua. These are two pound six urethane ball. All right, seven and a half ball, three, five, six triangle. Out, out, open now. Three right, five left. Seven consecutive marks without a mark. Hitting well there, a 10, 27 through three. In string number three, seven, 10, 10. So watch out for this guy in the playoffs, folks. If he stays hot like he's doing right now, he could win the whole thing. Ryan Billings right there also. And Ryan getting better and better also. This was all about the bowlers moving up the ranks, get to that eventually class A level. And even B is, is good too. Don't know where the guy don't know. The Canadian bucket shot, it's called the bucket, the setback, it's called rather the setback, rather. The bucket's the hay bale, the bundle of five. The setback shot. Decent wood that time spare. Better position. 37 the ball through four here in the third. And that gives him five spares, two strikes in the match. Nine drop for the fourth time today. That's on a spare, 46 through four. Four for five in the head pin. Missed it. Missed his last three singles. The spares. Someone will get better on. Wasn't there. Nine. 55 half. Halfway through his match. Ryan Billings down a touchdown. Six in the match. Starts his third string here in Wakefield Bowl. Drone Wakefield Mass on the ACST Facebook page. Jeremy has had half pass of 56, 72, and 55. Billings, spread eagle with a piece of wood. Not much of a factor though here, I don't think. Sometimes we have the five pin left up there to help sometimes get in wall action. Yeah. Almost made earlier, just missed the three, two, four, seven left. Ryan, 34 years young. Nice out, nine to start. His third, up two in the string, down four in the match. A mark away or two from taking the lead. His high single was 140. He subbed in the league here in Wakefield. He got a 162. 99 league bowl of 100, his best season. And already over 101 here in the ACST. 101.60 coming in. He has a post. 388, high triple, high five, 592. This is home lanes here. We feel ball drum. Well, it good. Go. The wood spins into the seven. 19 the ball through two here in the third of five. Each bowler now with seven marks. On the bonus, crossing over seven. 26 through 2. He takes the lead in the match for the first time. Up 9 in the string. A handful in the match. For another one. No. Too bad. A little more inside. He may have gone. Couldn't get to the 4. Exciting match here. Billings 9. 35, 27. Up 8 in the string. Now, correction, he's up eight in the string, two in the match. He's up down six coming in. So after two boxes, he's up nine in the string, three in the match. After three boxes, eight in the string, two in the match. Lost by seven, one by one. And a clipped wing eagle. Two and a three, Kevin, here? Yeah, yeah. So over the three, and chops out one. Brutal. Two, four, six, ten. Now you go over the two on the left. Yeah, you, if you swim, you got a good shot of making the making it too. He's against a spear nine, so trail again now. 
And almost a 10, or is it? Almost. Heck of it out. Nine. 44 through four. Now down two in the string. Eight in the match. Up against a nine. So needs a mark to potentially take the lead back in the match. Now, Paul, you always comment me on my penmanship whenever I do the scoring for you. Yeah, my handwriting is my, like my father's. Mine's better, though, believe it or not. That's not saying much, is it? No. All the abuse of the nuns growing up. One, three, six, eight. I give that just catch a whole new meaning. Just missed the one pin. Try and get to 54 to keep it to one pin in the string. He needed that. He needed that spear. It's a 7. 51 half. Halfway through the match, he's down four in the string. Ten in the match. We're tied two points apiece. Second half to begin. From Wakefield Bowl, drum Wakefield Mass, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class C Northern Conference. And we got, we got, oh, we got a special guest here. Look who's here. Carla's in the house. Jeremy's girlfriend works lead lanes also. Jeremy's been terrific today. Got the eight to go down. One, three, six, ten. This is for a spare. Oh, look at that. That's weird. What the heck was that? <laughs> wow. Three and a ten. You know, I've been around the game my whole life. I've never seen that. Neither have I. Eight bucks on the field goal. 63 through six. Second half underway. It's been a great one, hasn't it, Kevin? It has been. I mean, the uh, halves are very, very consistent. Mine is... Uh, Jeremy's 72 hat that he had last string. Van Dyke in the pocket. A diamond. Minus one. Minus two. Now it's the half wisdom. It's got some wood to work with. The two and the eight. My least favorite shot. But a lot of people think this wood. is going to go. No, it, with, with wood, though, it, it, it should go. But he missed it. With wood, yes, it should go. But a lot of people don't realize when you have... When you punch out to a half whistle, nine times out of ten, when you have it standing, that's what happens. It got, doesn't go. You got that back pin again. Nine. 72 through seven and a third of five. Pick up a Candlepin gift card here at Wakefield Bowl Drum or your local bowling center. Get your friends involved, especially the young ones, the youth. The key to the future of Candlepin Bowling. Please help support Candlepin Bowling with Candlepin gift cards this holiday season, all season long. Jeremy takes down eight four seven spare opportunity. Six for eight on the head pin here in the third. You got it. Spare. Second spare in the third. Eighty two and a ball through eight. And a nine fill earlier. Six spares, two strikes in the match. Both strikes come in the second string. Almost had four in a row, in a sense. Strike two, nine drops, and a strike. Off to the quarter, yikes. One fill. 83 through eight. Nice recovery. Wobbling four left, five right. Missed outside eight after a spare one. 91 through nine. That gives Ryan Billings a chance. If he's open here to take the string, Jer Ryan will need a mark more than likely to win. Two if Jeremy gets one here. Overall, Jeremy's throwing a good ball. Not the last couple of boxes. 5 2 split. 60% on the head pin for a Class C bowler. Not too bad. No. 68 to 72 is the average Class A bowl. It's stats by Kenneth Mulling Network. And almost stole it. All but number one. Trying to get to 101. Nine, even 100. Third string, 322 through three. So Ryan 
Billings can win with five ten boxes. A mark would help. And we need a mark to take the lead in the match. Right now down four in the string, ten in the match. Starting a second half. Hooks it. Another spread eagle. Third time. Brutal. JJ, thanks for the feedback. We had to move over last minute to lane four. And we're, we're, we're up against a wall, literally up against a wall here. Behind the coat rack. Yeah. In front of the coat rack. And a tough four. Ouch. 55 through six in the third of five. Down eight in the string. 14 in the match. Needs 46 in four boxes. He won it in the second by one pin for the spare six. Nine that time. Clean shot right at it. Speaking of a good ball, JJ Trigney, I told us going to have a good year this year. He's number one in class B North. Well, he gets the spare. After a four box, that's how you do it. 65 and a ball through seven here in the third. Dan JJ joined the Friday Night Forward for Riverwalk? I believe so. We haven't covered Riverwalk this year yet. Six spares, two strikes to the match. Number five, C. Beautiful ball, eight. Six and a nine. Big eight, Phil. 73-72, up one in the string, down a handful in the match. Does not need a mark to win the string, a mark to take the lead in the match. For a spare, just outside the six. Nine. 83-82 now. Jeremy Van Dyke up one in the string. He's up seven in the match. Two strings left after these two boxes. 19 to win the string. To up four points to two. On the crossover, strike nine. The wiggle on the four. And what should help here? There's a piece of wood up front and one behind the four pin. I'm playing up. You have to play the wood up front. Obviously. He got it. Spare. 92 to the ball in the ninth. Up one in the string. Down five in the match. Seven spares between the second and third string. One strike in the first. One strike in the second. Is Phil seven and eight so far in his spares? In the pocket of a strike, he's got it! Strike on spare! Wow, he wins the string! 102 through nine, 112 plus two in the tenth. Three strikes, one in each string. The average pro is 0.9 for a 120 league bowler. He's averaging over 101. Seven in the first ball, trying to get to 122. Eight fill, 120, third string for Ryan Billings, the number five seed. Leads number three seed, Jeremy Van Dyke. Two strings left. 98, 118, 120, 336 to 322. He takes a 16 pin lead with two strings to go. Put the official scores on the screen just a moment. And Jeremy will start string number four. Thanks, JJ, for the feedback. We have not, not much room to work with here. We're actually literally squeezed in here. There's literally, my back is literally up against a wall, a post here, next to the coat rack. So, Kevin, don't hang yourself here on the coat rack. <laughs> right, let's put these up real quick if we can. After every string, that's per request. Instead of five boxes, that's the box by box real quick. And the first three strings. We can put this up real quick. Let's switch up this box, actually. We'll put the uh, official tools up after this box. And starting the fourth of five, spinning four for Van Dyke. It's okay. So it's actually 14 the lead, not 16. 
said it wrong. Van Dyke open, so it's 20, uh, 336, 322. I said it right, just said the total wrong. It's 14, not 16. So usually I'm good at math, but lately I don't know. Nice nine to start the fourth of five. Here's the first three strings officially. A great matchup, three versus five. The three seed won the first, right? Uh, Jerry Van Dyke, 105.98. 118, 117, Ryan Billings, and Ryan, 120, 100. 336, 322, he's up four points to two, and 14 in the match. Van Dyke with four. Potential preview of a second-round playoff this season ends today. Plenty of time left, obviously. It's 18-week season. Going twice a month on a flexible schedule. Division winners play each other twice the first three weeks, the last three weeks. This is a non-division match. 1-3-5. 9 again, 18 through 2 here in the fourth. Some bowls have to drop off for personal reasons or financial reasons or injury reasons. If you want to join the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour as a replacement this season or for next year, contact Danny Finn, F-I-N-N, Facebook Messenger at Ryan Family Amusements, Millis Mass. Jeremy can't find the range all of a sudden. Five. Boy, it's just it's good to see him just four years of bowling and at a high level like this already in Class C North. Definitely be a B next year. It'll definitely be in the V next year. Open box again. It's five straight now without a mark. Three nines to start the fourth. 27 through three. Jeremy's mother used to bowl also. Won a luck of the Irish three-person team event. Lita Lanes. Former King of the River winner also. At Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. Well, Lane Britton today won his fourth in a row. I tease Lane, so now he can afford a wow shirt to support Candle Prince for Gansler. 737 shirts sold now, Kevin, by the way. Three, 13 more away from helping a 15 family. Van Dyke, good bid, won't go. 6 and 10. Doing good for his first time at Wakefield. Can, it can really humble your game. Eight that time, 35 through four. But Carla, his girlfriend's here. That usually brings him extra luck. He usually had six to five pins for his average when she's around. He may ask her to leave. <laughs> Only kidding, Carla. You're a keeper here. That's a nice young lady, fun lady. Another five drop. Could use a mark. Good bid, seven and nine. Won the first, 105.98. Lost the second, the last box, a spare six, 118, 117. Lost the third, 120, 100. Nice 10, 45 half. Number five seed, Ryan Billings, the home bowler, up four points to two. One of the last two. He needed marks to win each string, last two strings. Right now, up. 14 the match, 336, 322 coming in. And again, a 45 half from Jeremy Van Dyke. Left side, three. Just missed right, 1 7, 6 10 right. That'll be at eight. Talk to Jeremy if we can afterwards too today. And Ryan. That puts eight through one. Down one in the string up a baker's dozen. You know what a baker's dozen is, Kevin? I told you the other night. It used to be a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> one, three, six, nine behind the three. Billings for a spare, up the wall, can't get to the nine. Valiant effort, falls short. So we'll open, combined, seven boxes here in the fourth. 
this with a guy. It's hard to maintain that high pace of bowling up there average wise anyway. But it's good to see. All right, he has a vote block. You have to play the cap. Yeah. Won't go. Nine, 17 through two. Now he's down, still down one in the string of 13 in the match. Expect a big second half from Jeremy Van Dyke. Right about average today. Ryan over his average. A fourth spread eagle. You gotta be kidding me. He's made a couple of close calls. The last one he had, he almost made. He has 98, 118, 120 so far. And in the hole, he had a four box also on one of them, last string. Then came back with a spare eight, nine, spare strike eight to win the third. And that's a six. 23 through three. Down four in the string, up 10 in the match. Works at Massport at Logan Airport. Smooth balls. Ah, tough break. Six right, seven left. Now, Kevin, would you edge the left side of that? Side? I would edge the it. I try to go left side of that six pin if you could into that wood, the ball into the wood, into the seven. Conventional thinking. Well, speaking of like a true pro, I'm playing the six pin on the right side, trying to kind of either way. Yeah. Sometimes the ball can clip off the side of the six. Either way, it didn't make, make it anyway. And we'll never know as he gets a 10. 33 through 4. Down 2. Down 2 in the string. Up 12 of the match. Close all the way through. Been blessed to call hundreds of matches the last couple of years. And a lot of close ones. 8 drop there. 5 in the 10. Not going to be easy. Well, I just started doing this last year. Like... Helping you, Greg, and Bob out, but I can't ever recall anything being this close. Well, come back. Almost. Oh. Ran out of room. Dove into the pit. Both open. That's a 10. 43 half. He's still down two in the string. Of 12 of the match. Jeremy trying to get four points apiece. Jeremy overdue. He's gone seven straight without a mark. And he started that spare one quarter Worcester fill. He's gone 11 out of 12 with just one mark. Back in the pocket, nine. Same spot for a spare, the five. He missed it. He's missed four consecutive single pins. That's what I'll have to work on. And I'm not going to say it. I only said it once. He missed the second. Make the third for a 10. Back-to-back 10s. -back 55 through 6. That single pin. Something you have to work on to improve your game. You'll get better, though. That would have been a 5, Phil. But not in the spare now. 3-2 split. We're all pulling the head turn. Back-to-back -back head pin hits. Same spot. Seventh box, fourth string from Wakefield Bowl, drawing Wakefield Mass. Top five. 60 through seven. It's nine straight now without a mark. Wakefield can test your wits. Right side, four. Jeremy enjoys music, video games, and the hockey. up the one, two, and the five. It's all three. You get the 70 through eight. Nice 10. 70 it is through eight. In the fourth of five. 
Try and make it four points apiece. We'll need a mark. More likely to need a mark now that five box. He's had three tens in the last four boxes with a five in between. Yes, missed left. One, three, seven. Very confident bowler, though. Skip nice. dogged it. Wood coming out of play. The single pins, the difference in the match. Nine. 79 through nine. Won the first, lost the second, lost the third. An outstanding match. Hello, Bobby Bear, thanks for watching. Thin tight, thin hit, three. He's got decent wood behind Kevin, that'll help up, right? That one, two, a one, three pocket should carry it. I would sure. Think. No, it should sure carry. I would think the one three pocket better, obviously. Can he get it? He goes one two and almost. Six right, eight left, open string. He hit the head pin a little thin. That's why he left the uh, six and the eight. He'll take the ten, disappointing 89, fourth string for the number one three seed and number one conference average leader, Jeremy Van Dyke, out of Lee Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. And I'll put him at 4-11 through 4. And Ryan Billings does not need a mark to win the string. He's down 2, box to box, 45-43. 1-2-7-10. John Winchell made this shot last Thursday afternoon at extra lanes for a spare. Billings could try 2 in the 10. John, the number one seed in Class A North. He's won one ACSD championship. A run off to Sean Taylor the year after. Nice 10. Still down a two in the string. Up 14 in the match. 37 pins in four boxes. Web six points to two. But no lead is safe with Jeremy Van Dyke. Plays ball in this year. Tough split, 3-6 right, 4-7 left. No marks this string for anybody. Like a Patriots game, huh? Giants? Chargers? Wow. Pitches duel, you could say. Baseball reference. Four in the seven, another open box. One up in the string. One up in the string. And is that a nine or an eight? It's a nine. So hit the pin first. Has to hit the pin first. It's a nine box. Bulls call it. 62. 60. Up two in the string. He's up 16 in the match. Now the match number is 28. To win for the third swing in a row. One, three, nine, ten. Would be high to possibly help the sleeper pin. The nine. One, three, nine, ten. For a spare, missed outside. Just had to cut the wood. He's got to be careful. He's got to at least get two here minimum. He gets a six box. He need a mark to win. Yep, three for nine. Up 71 70 here in the fourth of five. 19 pins now. Make it tough on himself. He's up against nine and ten. That's what he needs minimum to win the string. Combination 19 pins. Going to the final string. One, three, six, seven on lane four. Raised head pin. He's got to be careful. He needs at least two to avoid a tie. Three, six, seven. He needs two to get to 80 through nine. And he got, wow. missed it, and now he needs a mark to win. 79 78. Jeremy up by one in the string. Open 19 boxes combined, and now 
Ryan squanders a chance, needs a mark to win like he did in the second to win by one. And if he does not get a mark, we're tied four apiece. In the pocket, a triangle. Less than one and two conversion rate. Three, five, six, need to mark to win the string. Can he get it? No! Oh. It's coming back, not enough on it. And Ryan Van Dyke somehow survives the string. And we're tied four points apiece, only fitting. Nine, 89, 87, no marks. A win is a win is a win, they say. Jeremy Van Dyke takes it by two. He's done a dozen in the match with one string to go. A thriller here, Wakefield Ball drawing Wakefield Mass. The Atlanta Cantlepin Singles Tour, Class C, Northern Conference. Unbelievable. Both balls squandering many chances in that string. We'll put the official scores in just a moment. Four twenty-three to four eleven. Ryan Billings up twelve of the match. Four big points for total. Put those up after this box. Right side three six nine ten. Final string underway. Please share this match with your friends and family. Invite your friends to bowl. Can't from bowling. Nothing like it. The ball spare came back with a five. To start the fifth. Here's the first four. Close, close, close. All can lead for Ryan. Billings up 12. On the spare, three, 13 through one. Same shot as the first box. That broke a drought. That spare. Of 12 boxes. One, three, eight. Eight box, 21 through two. Carrying the same divisions, number six seed Eric Sikowski led the division for a while. Eric 52 and 32. Anthony Karen was 500, now he's 44 and 54. Craig Powers, the good average. At 38 and 60, though, at fourth in division, division four. Half Worcester. General Brian Patton leads the conference now, 62 and 22. Justin Giro, who was first, dropped the second, 68 and 30. Jerry Van Dyke here on lane four is number three at 56 and 28. As he's open, Dan Gray fourth at 42 and 42. Dyke, 10, 31 through 3 in the fifth. Four wild cards, Ryan Billings coming in today, 53 and 31. Eric Sikowski, one behind, 40, uh, 52 and 32. Scott Bradish, 38 and 18. Spencer Lisi, his eighth, 56 and 42, as of right now. And Dyke, better outstanding, wood to help in between the bundle of six. Held it too long, hooked it left. Missed opportunity again. Ran that one three pocket, that pretty, pretty much a done deal. But that would. All but the head pin, nine, 40 through four. Including that spare three in the first. Seven spares, two strikes to match. The number three seed, Jeremy Van Dyke. Leader Lane's home of the Easter Classic. 93 bowls last year. Looking for the century mark this year, or next year, 2024. On the crossover, strike! His third strike of the match. Had two in the second. 50 half plus two. What a battle here in Wakefield. That was a fun a fun tournament last year. Seeing Tommy Douglas win it. And Tim won the Cantlepins for Cancer. Ladder won this season at Western Timberlands and Edmonton. Won the Pro Series in Sanford recently, too. 
1-800-236-9010. Ryan. The Doubles Pro Series is on January 27th. Congratulations, Dave and Ellie. Brought brought the baby. Baby waited all night to come out. I was teasing Allie in Moncton, so we want to see, want to see a Moncton baby. <laughs> she didn't want to do it up there. You can't see a blamer. Nice out. That's an eight. So he's down five in the string, up seven in the match. I mean, it's a strike in the fifth. Ryan, the same division. It's number two C Justin Ruggiero, 68 and 30. Number six, Scott Bradish, 38 and 18. And Greg Vellante, 38 and 60. Greg, very good young boy. He's had some tough losses this year. Any luck, he'd be 500. Billings goes right, has a generous lead, the one and two. Kim, when you bowl, do you try to split the uprights or you just try to hit the head pin? I just hit the head pin. Well, with the way my ball works, I'm probably going to split the uprights. He does, but the uprights spare. In the final string of the match, 18 of the ball through two. Four to take the lead in the string. He's up 12 overall in the match. If he wins the string, he'll get 10 points against the number three seed, Jeremy Van Dyke. The fifth seed, Ryan Billings, the southpaw, on the bonus. It'll be a seven fill with Wood circling around. Look at this. A turnaround, spare leave. 3-6-10, 25 through two. Up four in the string, 16 in the match. Hooks it. No, maybe been a lob. Nine, 34, 31, up three in the string, 15 in the match, up against a nine and a strike. This is great for a bowler, though. This is a good way to get to bowl in different houses, meet different bowlers. It's great for your game. That's why you want to join the Atlantic Candlepin Single Star. Danny Finn, will it be a Class E next year? Is the question. You better because I've been dying to do the ASCT. Tough leave here. Good try, almost. A wiggle on the eight. Heck of a bid. Fall short. A 10 to gain a pin here. I actually said to Dan, you have to do a class D. There's a nine. 4340. Still up three in the string. 15 in the match. Up against a strike. Another exciting match here, Kevin. Well, you and I covered a really, really, really exciting match on Monday night with uh, Rich and Sarah. Been blessed to cover so many great matches. A lot of close ones. No gray hair yet, totally. No heart attacks yet. A lot of borderline ones, though. All <laughs> these matches are so exciting, so close. One, three, six, four, seven. A spare to, up against a strike would help. And we we'll go! No! Too bad. Six that, holds up. That way came out of the got her and it just really nudged the six pin. Billings a nine. 52 50 of two in the string. 14 in the match but Jeremy and Dykes on a strike to cut up the single digits. Final five box of the match for each bowler. Tied four points apiece. Six points on the line. Two for the string. Four for total. They split the points during a tie. No overtime until the playoffs. We already have one a couple of seasons ago. And Danny Finn and Jordan Britton, a must-see match on Canopin Bowling Network. Van Dyke on a strike. Once you get eight, one of the two. This is a huge fill. He missed it right. Eight in the strike, 58-52. Halfway through the fifth, box to box. Up six in the string. Down six in the match. And gets a nine, 65 through six. Ryan, Ryan, it's 12 coming in, right? Yeah. Ryan, 12 coming in the string. Not right now, it's eight. Van Dyke, half Worcester. Momentum killer. In your favorite shot, Paul. Ugh. Too many, too many two boxes. Now too far right. 
Parallel pins in the middle, four, seven left, six standing. Van Dyke, big out. Gets three for a seven. 72 through seven in the final string of the match. We'll need at least one more mark to contend for total, maybe two. Eric Sikowski in his division, breathing down his neck in the standings. Van Dyke, one, two, four, another good leaf. Eric Sikowski, one point behind Jeremy coming into this match in the same division. For a spare. He got it! Spare in the eighth. 82 and a ball. Big time spare. I got 84 and a ball. 84 and a ball, we're told. So we'll check the official scores. Kevin Burns doing unofficial scoring. We have official scoring. So we're told it's 84. That's even better for Jeremy Van Dyke. No scoreboard here. The bonus is five. Yeah, you're right. Kevin adding error. Okay, so five in the fill. So it's 89 through eight. Tough shot. Could use it. Shots out the six. One, three, nine, ten. We'll need a mark in the tenth, more than likely, for total. And still win the string, get at least six points. That's a six box. 95 through nine. His final box, Ryan Billings, to wrap it up. We'll talk to both bowlers before we sign off. On the hit pin. Can't get the seven to go. Three, six, ten right. See who plays it. We'll use the wood. We'll go for the pins on the right. Over the wood, and he won't go. Three and a seven. Right now, 103. So I guess one for 104. And that gives Ryan Billing some breathing room for four points for total. Ryan's going to need a mark to win the string. He lost, he won string by one, he lost a string by two, and one by seven. Eight on the field goal, 103, final string. For Jeremy Van Dyke out of Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. 5-14. Slightly under his average today, but not bad for his first time here in Wakefield. 5-14. Ryan? 5-14 confirmed. So Ryan's 52. He's down six in the string. He needs 52. One mark to win the string and get 10 points. Remember, here's a 12 coming in. 5 middle, 8 left, 10 right. Final 5 box for the match. So 40 pins will clinch the match total in 5 boxes. How about pinning now? Just missed the five. Trying to edge it into the ten. Get one here, Kevin. Try and get one. Does for a nine. 61 through six. Four blocks to go in the match. He's down six right now in the string. He's up a touchdown in the match. Three in four boxes to win ten points. Parallel pins. Parallel pins plus the nine. Five standing. Had a spare seven in the second. And both balls had an open fourth string. Ah. Now he has four standing. So if he gets a seven, spare five, six, and eight. So he's got an opportunity here, but needs a mark. He'll take three for nine. Seventy through seven. Down four in the string, up eight in the match. So he was up 12, so he needs 22 and three boxes to clinch total for eight points. Right, up his spare five. 
Mark to win the string. And that's the first one we've seen today. Not going to say it, but you know what it is. And they both agreed. Billy, gotta be careful. Same spot. All of a sudden, be careful now. He could lose the total if he gets the same spot again in the string. He gets anything less than a nine. Big out and a five. Unbelievable. And now, all of a sudden, Jimmy Van Dyke takes the match lead by two. What a strange game. Can't open boom for you, Paul. He's up against a six and eight, though. He's got room here now. 29 to win the string for 10 points. He needs a mark nine. He needs 17 to win total for eight points. And another spreading over the fifth time today. you got to be kidding me. Wow. And Jerry Van Dyke can still steal 10 points. He's three. Got two. Want to get at least three here. To avoid a strike sphere combination or a double strike. Big ball here. Six. Ouch. Final box to the match. It's a two pin lead in the match for Jeremy Van Dyke. He's a 10 to tie for total. A mark to take total. So he could get maybe five points now. Six or 10. He's a double to win the string. So Jeremy's going to win the string. Jeremy wins the string. He's got at least six points. He needs to convert the 1 8 10. He did in the second with a spear six to win 118-117. He does have some wood on the deck. It can go. Comes down to the shot. He missed it. No. Needs both the tie total somehow. And wood out of play. Kevin, he's at 89. Jimmy's at 103. So he was up 12 coming in. He's down, he's up down 14 right now. Two to tie. Both pins needed for total to split four points. And that means Jeremy would get the string win. Obviously, Jeremy would get eight, and Ryan would get six. Is that right? Yep, eight and six. So Jeremy, very fortunate on the road. For the tie in total! No! One pin in total! Wow! Unbelievable! Wow, 390! Jeremy Van Dyke survives! Wins the total by one pin. We'll put the official scores up in just a moment. What a match. Tough break for Ryan Billings. Two tough strings in a row. One mark and two strings doesn't help. And Jeremy Dyke, very fortunate to get 10 points on the road. And that'll bring his record up in the standings. Jeremy will move those 10 points to 66 and 32, 98 points after seven matches. Brian Billings, tough loss. He'll go to 57 and 41. And we'll talk to the Bulls before. Let's get the official scores. We'll talk to the guys before we sign up. A thrilling match here at Wakefield Bowl Drome. Please share with your friends and family. Pick up a Kendallman gift card to support your local bowling centers and get your friends involved in this great game. Let's show the box-by-box -box scores first. If we can. Actually, we can't really reach up here. So it's going to put the total scores up here for you. Jeremy won the first. 105.98. Up by seven. Two points to none. Brian gets the spare to win the string. 118.117. Tied two apiece. Down six. Ryan 120.100 to go up in the match. By 14. 89.87. No marks. That string to Jeremy. 12 penalty for Ryan. And... Jeremy hangs on somehow, 103-89, so it ends up being a two-pin win, right? Two-pin win, I believe, right? 5-14, so not one pin, two pins, we're told. So a two-pin win. Let's talk to the guys before we sign off. Ryan, tough loss. I know that. You could probably say you know you missed some shots. You both missed yeah. shots you normally make, and uh, you, could, you had a chance to win ten points. It got away from you at the end. Yeah, just uh, the, the fourth game again. It's uh, killed me all all season really, and uh, killed me today. And uh, and today the fifth game killed me too. So I couldn't afford to have two bad games and 
uh, and I did at the end. So unfortunate, but you know what? Um, you know, this place is hard. Everybody knows. But uh, Jeremy bowled great for his, his first time bowling here. And, uh, uh, you know, honestly, I'm lucky he didn't he didn't beat me more than he did because he, he bowled well and just got some bad breaks. So and He threw five or six spread eagles or clipwing eagles, too. Yeah, yeah uh, spread eagle is king here. Uh, <laughs> seems like I usually uh, throw a few of those, um, especially here because it's a little harder. But, um, yeah, just uh, and I didn't, didn't convert, didn't get tens out of them. So just uh, left too many pins on the deck. Really. Right. You're have, you having a good season overall. You, I know you, yeah. you'll do well. You get 11 matches to go. Plenty of time. If you're in the playoffs right now, if the season ends today. Yeah, I, I got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, I got tough matches coming up still before the holidays. So, um, you know, this was, uh, you know, it's just going to get harder from here. So I got to just keep uh, keep trying to get better and, and hopefully uh, hopefully things will, will pan out good. Well, you're a great character guy. and Good luck the rest well, of the thanks. season. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Jeremy. Nice performance. How do you get yeah. 10 points today? I don't know. Very lucky. Um he bowled great, got a lot of bad breaks. I was all over the place. I'm very fortunate I took 10 points today. So Usually when Carla shows up, you usually light up the board. and you know, She showed up, you start doing bad. What's up with that? I don't know. Usually she's your right spot. Right? I don't know. Usually, have, usually your uh, temperature is higher. You should, that's why you have a one-way average when she shows up. Right, right. Yeah, usually she's my luck charm, but today wasn't my day. But It's a tough house. It is. It was tough, but it was fun. I enjoyed bowling with Ryan, and I'll take 10 points. You've only been four, four years now. You're averaging 105. You're having your best year so far. You're averaging 107 and change here in the ACSD. Yep. What has helped your game greatly this year? This year, uh, I'm trying to be more consistent. Like even today, I missed probably four or five single pins trying to work on that. Um, it's tough. It's a hard game. So I'm just trying to get more consistent and bowl my best. That's it. Three letter word for going 10 and four against a fine bowl on Ryan Billings. Wow. Okay. Jerry Van Dyke takes it 10 points to four. Final score. Officially, 514 to 512 for Kevin Burns. Paul Green saying so long for now from Wakefield Bowl, drawn Wakefield, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching this great game of Kevin Mulling. Yeah, next time. Yeah, next time, Paul. Great powers. Sunday's like one of my only days.